after we have all our data in a database, we will use GIS Water to model and simulate a hydraulic network with a specific rainfall. So let's go to this rain gauge where I already have two types of rainfall. So let's start with a five year return period rainfall. So let's simulate and save the results with this name I'm typing now. Now GIS Water is communicating with Episwim and therefore Episwim will give us back the results into our database so that we can visualize these results in a GIS, in this case QGIS. Ok, it's done. So let's see the pipe's data with the results of this simulation. Now let's deactivate this auto photo in order to give us a better visualization of the results. Okay, so now let's try with a 10 year return period rainfall. OK, we change the name, OK, yes we overwrite the INP and RPT files, refresh, and here we have it, the results of this simulation with this 10 year return period rainfall. Well, and that's it. This is one of the great potentials of GIS Water, to simulate and model a network with any type of rainfall while keeping our data in a database.